From the Chinese structure that housed royal dynasties for almost 500 years, to the 3.5 million square foot fortress with eight stories below ground, today we look at the biggest palaces on Earth. Number 14. Winter Palace From 1732 to 1917, this 60,000 square meter palace served as the royal residence for all of Russia's emperors. Located between the Palace Embankment and Palace Square of St. Petersburg, the Winter Palace acted as the central headquarters from which Russian rulers could oversee the 8.6 million square miles and 125 million citizens of the Russian Empire. This great structure is notable for its green and white exterior, Elizabethan Baroque style, and hosting approximately 1,500 rooms throughout the 98-foot-tall, 705-foot-wide building. Number 13. Royal Palace of Stockholm Built on the ashes of Trekranar Castle, which burnt down in a fire in 1697, the Royal Palace of Stockholm wasn't completed until 1728 due to military conflicts in the region. This Swedish structure was first inhabited in 1754 by King Adolf Frederick and Queen Luisa Ulrika, marking the major difference between it and its predecessor. While both are royal structures, the purpose of the castle is to be battle-ready, while a palace is built with the express purpose of housing royalty. Differing from most other palaces, the Stockholm Palace hasn't experienced any major conversions and officials claim it to be the world's largest palace still used for its original purpose, at a square footage of 658,000. Number 12. Palace of Versailles A historical monument and UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Palace of Versailles is renowned for its beauty, size, and cultural importance. It began as the royal quarters of French royalty with Louis XIV in 1682 and was used as such until the reign of Louis XVI and the French Revolution of 1789. The Palace of Versailles measures 679,000 square feet in area, but the whole of the palace grounds holds the title of largest royal domain in the world at 2,014 acres. Within its walls, lie a number of famous attractions, such as the Royal Opera and the Ceremonial Hall of Mirrors. Over 7 million visitors are drawn to the Palace of Versailles each year, making it the second most popular attraction in France after the Louvre. Number 11. Topkapi Palace Six years after the fall of Constantinople, Mehmed the Conqueror ordered the construction of, of Topkapi Palace to serve he and the other Ottoman sultans as a base of administrative work and a chief residence, originally called the New Palace to differentiate it from the Old Palace within Bayezid Square. This structure, located in Istanbul, Turkey, would undergo a series of upgrades over the centuries, adding multiple courtyards and buildings to the complex as well. Though it stopped acting as a royal residence following the 17th century, the sultans still valued Topkapi Palace as an imperial library, mint, and treasury. The finished product is the 753,000 square foot citadel that now serves as a large museum and hosts a massive collection of Ottoman artifacts. Number 10. Buckingham Palace With 775 rooms, the largest private garden in London covering 40 acres of surrounding space and a square footage of 828,000, Buckingham Palace is both one of the most impressive and one of the most famous palaces in the world. This royal residence was first built in 1703 as a townhouse for the Duke of Buckingham, but in 1761, King George III purchased the home for his wife, Queen Charlotte, and it henceforth was known as the Queen's House. But as the building expanded in the early 19th century, it grew to be less of a townhouse and more of a palace with the addition of three wings and a central courtyard. When Queen Victoria rose to power in 1837, Buckingham Palace became the official home to the British monarchy and continues to serve as a royal headquarters for the United Kingdom in modern times. Number 9. Palace of Venaria The Palace of Venaria was commissioned in 1675 by Duke Charles Emmanuel II to grant him a base of operations during his hunting expeditions north in Turin, Italy. Its name comes from the Latin phrase Venatio Regia, which means royal hunt. But this palace changed purposes near the turn of the 18th century 
as the House of Savoy expanded the palace to become a legal residence for their royal dynasty. By the end of the 18th century, a head withstood a beating and fell into disuse before becoming a stronghold for the Italian military until 1978, when it was purchased by the Ministry of Culture. The 861,000-square-foot Palace of Venaria began restoration efforts in 1999 and became the largest restoration project in European history before opening to the public in 2007. Number 8. Abdeen Palace Now a museum in downtown Cairo, this historic stronghold was named after Albanian commander and Egyptian politician Abedin Bey. Abdeen Palace began construction in 1863 atop Bey's mansion after his passing, and it was designed by French architect Leon Rousseau. Despite being relatively new in relation to other large palaces, this grand structure is thought to be among the most lavish and prestigious palaces due to the vast amount of gilded clocks, decorations, and paintings throughout its halls. In total, the Abdeen Palace fills 1.1 million square feet of space, and including the gardens added by the Sultan Fuad in 1921, the entirety of the complex measures over 2 million square feet. Number 7. Quirinal Palace Named for the ancient Roman deity Quirinus, who was at one time worshipped upon the hill in which it now sits, is the Palazzo di Quirinal, or Quirinal Palace, as it translates to English. It is one of the three official residences of the President of Italy, and throughout its history it has been the home of four separate kings of Italy, twelve presidents, and an astounding thirty popes. During the campaign of Napoleon's empire, the Quirinal Palace was hand-selected to be his royal abode, but this never came to pass as he met defeat in 1814. This palace occupies an area of 1.19 million square feet, but also features a massive garden featuring over 430,000 square feet. Number 6. Royal Palace of Madrid Unlike many of the palaces on this list, the Royal Palace of Madrid remains the official residence to date of the Spanish royal family. However, despite being titled as such, the current King of Spain, Felipe VI, and his family have opted to live in the nearby Palace of Sarzuela, which is much more modest than this 1.45 million square foot structure. It was first built between the years of 860 and 880 and stood as a defensive fortress for centuries before it was used as a royal residence by John II, King of Castile, and Lyon in the early 15th century. A fire in 1734, though, would burn it to the ground and give cause for another completely new construction that would take nearly two decades to complete. Number 5. Forbidden City Though the entirety of the Forbidden City's palace complex equates to over 7.75 million square feet, making it the largest palace complex in the world, the actual main structure fills an area of just 1.61 million square feet. Serving as China's imperial palace from 1420 to 1912, this great building was the home of many emperors, their families, and the royal courts from the reign of the Ming Dynasty until the end of the Qing Dynasty. For just under 500 years, the Forbidden City was the political center of the Chinese government, but has been under the control of the Palace Museum since 1925, with much of the artifacts from prior residing dynasties making up a majority of their exhibits. Over 16 million people now visit this historically sacred World Heritage Site annually, and it remains one of the most culturally significant structures in all of China. Number 4. Apostolic Palace the Pope oversees the Catholic Church from this official residence within Vatican City, a 1.74 million square foot structure officially known as the Apostolic Palace. In addition to housing the head of the Catholic Church, the Papal Palace or Palace of the Vatican, as it's sometimes known, plays many roles. It contains the private, state, and religious papal apartments, the offices of the Catholic Church in the Holy See, various chapins, Vatican museums of art and sculptures, and the famous Vatican Library. The most beloved room in all of the Apostolic Palace, however, is arguably the Sistine Chapel, thanks to the vivid fresco decor provided by heralded Renaissance artists like Michelangelo and Sandro Botticelli. Number 3. Louvre Palace The 2.15 million square foot complex was the royal home to the kings of France for three centuries before it became the location of the famed art museum it is today. The Louvre Palace was initially constructed to be a military fortress during the medieval period under the direction of King Philip II in 1190, before he headed off to the Third Crusade. It was finished being built by 1202 but continued to undergo renovations 
throughout the Middle Ages. King Louis IX added royal treasury to the palace's purpose in mid-13th century, and a courtroom and prison were added to the complex under the command of the Valois dynasty. But Charles V made it an official royal palace during the 14th century before Francis I ordered a complete overhaul of the Louvre's appearance. Between his and Henry II's reign, much of the palace was demolished and rebuilt to transform it into a Renaissance-style palace. Many more additions have been built into and surrounding the Louvre Palace since then, and the resulting palace grounds occupy over 4.3 million square feet of space. Number 2. Hofburg Palace The Hofburg Palace of Vienna, Austria was first constructed in the 13th century and continued to grow over the years that followed, expanding to become the 2.5 million square foot fortress it is today. This building has acted as the documented seat of government since its inception, but has added a number of features with each additional upgrade. Some of the most notable installations to the Hofburg Palace include an imperial chapel, a treasury, an imperial library, the Austrian National Theater known as the Burgtheater, and the Spanish Writing School. Number 1. Palace of the Parliament This monstrous building is home to the Senate and Chamber of Deputies of the Parliament of Romania, and in addition to being the biggest of all palaces, it is the largest civilian-friendly administrative building in the world. The Palace of the Parliament fills an area of over 3.5 million square feet, measuring 12 stories tall and hiding another eight floors below ground. While a major hub for government activity, this palace also contains three museums, including the Museum of the Palace, the Museum of Totalitarianism and Social Realism, and the National Museum of Contemporary Art.